Well, hello, hello, hello. May God bless you all. I have an update about the Yanuka. Um, there's a claim that he brought somebody back to life along with all the other um, claims about this man. I would like to give a shout out to, of course, Watchman Adam's channel. And also I'd like to give a shout out to Wallytron 101. Um, we've really been keeping our eyes on this guy between three different channels. Um, and all have a lot of the similar type of uh, feelings about this guy. Spiritually, there's something that is not right with this guy. Uh, so many people say maybe he's, you know, one of the two witnesses that bring Israel to the remembrance of Jesus Christ. But the fact of the matter is that if you're a witness in the Revelation days, you're going to be a witness to Christ, his name. And I've done a lot of studies, look in the end time list on any of the videos that have to do with about Yanuka. Also look at the uh, uh, video called Trump, the champion of the noetic laws. If you really want to know what these laws, the noetic laws, the Talmud belief, um, they deny the fact that there's a Messiah that has already came. They believe in two Messiahs. And the fact of the matter is, is there's a lot of videos I've done. I'm going to show some clips of them and a clip of the one that said they raised the person from the dead. The, 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 there's just a lot that's not right about this guy. I mean, scripture tells us in these days that we would be having people doing false signs and wonders. Like we see in the book of Matthew 24. First of all, I'd like to bring up the Yanuka. Shalomo means peace. And Yuda means praise. So peace, praise. But we look at his name Yanuka. It means child prodigy. The child prodigy, peace and praise. This guy's not a child prodigy. Just because he knows the Talmud and the Torah, like by heart. Numerous times. It's funny when you type in the Yanuka, it brings up my videos on here. But um, it's just, it's stories like this. You know, this guy was finished. He was dead. The Rav raised him. I saw him dead. Right here is a claim where they're saying, I saw him dead. He raised him. But I also want to go here to a minute 118 stamp. Something else that said, healthy, alive, in the merit of Rav Yanuka. I also want to bring up something here. A video I did back in June 13th of 2022 where they said this is all in merit all because of the Yanuka. How many times have they been claiming all because of the Yanuka? And right here, then with Hajim's help, we'll play this. Bless the Rav that until the age 120, he will be able to lead the entire of our nation. Amen. Right there. They're wanting him to lead the nation of Israel. We see healthy and alive in the merit, thanks to the Yanuka. How many times are they going to sit here? Finished dead. The Rav raised him from the dead. All the merit goes to the Yanuka. We see this so much when it comes to this guy. There's so many claims of healings so many claims of he's brought peace i mean his name means the child prodigy child prodigy peace and praise remember in the book of thessalonians it talks about that they'll be saying peace and then sudden destruction comes israel's in such an uproar right now I israel's in a huge uproar with so much going on, protests, so many nations want to destroy Israel. They're in the process of a third temple. We've done so many videos about this. Uh, they got the red heifers for the ceremonial clean. They've had 600 Levites perform the water libation. It's Passover time, so hey, I mean, it's like almost like it's perfect time to say, hey, who is this guy? I, I, I'm not going to make a claim of who he is. He's certainly lining up to be a false messiah. Because anyways, per the Talmud, ter, per the Talmud, they believe in two messiahs. Per the Talmud, they believe in two. They don't believe in one. They believe in two. The fact is that Jesus Christ is the messiah, Yeshua. He came, he conquered. And the Talmud is something that is highly followed. It's called the Oral Torah. 
in lamer terms. And what did Jesus come when he rebuked the Pharisees and Sadducees? He said, I rebuke the man-made traditions. Rebuking the man-made traditions that people are still doing in today's era. They're still. The Talmud is not a belief that believes in Jesus Christ. The Talmud is a belief that leads people in looking for a false Messiah, not just one, but two. So the fact of the matter is, is through all these videos that I've done and shown, how many times are people giving merit and credit to Yanuka? The Bible never says that a man should take credit for a healing. No, when someone is healed, it is by the grace of God that has healed that person. Not anything I could, I could lay my hands on somebody, pray for them, and they get healed. And hey, hallelujah to the Most High, because he had grace upon them. He healed them. The fact of the matter is, is people are idolizing this guy. And the crazy thing is, there's people having claims. Look, let's pull this back up. Finished. Over. The Rav got him on his feet. He revived him. He's alive. The Rav did not revive him. And then he says, thanks to the creator. Look, he could have said thanks to the creator first through using a vessel, the Rav. There's people saying, I mean, there's many videos on his channel where he, he's teaching to the kids. And, and, and Watchman Adam just recently did a video uh, where, where, where they're teaching the children to pray to the Yanuka. And I and I don't doubt that because I've been keeping my eye on this guy and everything I've been seeing from from his YouTube page is people just giving him credit for so much. People just you know th thanks to the Yanuka this happened thanks to the Yanuka thanks to the Yanuka th th this is blasphemy thanks to Jesus Christ who died on that cross he made us free he made us new we're washed in his blood. We are healed. Thanks to the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ only. Nobody else. I don't deserve credit. You don't deserve credit. Nobody deserves credit but God. God's the only one who deserves credit. So much love to you all. Keep your heads up.